This video is sponsored by Value Testers. For a complete line of heating and HVAC testing equipment, biggest selection and best pricing on the internet, create a free login to see best pricing once logged in. Link in the description below. It's 2018. Uh, this one here I gotta go do uh, maintenance on um, a couple of ACs I put in for this guy. A little ton and a half units. One on each side of the house. Got a lot of left on County Road. Got a lot of pine needles here, and uh, go there and clean them out. I think he had mice in there last year. Want to clean them out? Check the charge. Make sure the filters are good for the guy. I mean, they're running fine. They just get a lot of pine needles down in here in this area, and they got to keep that stuff out of them, and they'll rot away. So, see, we got to see if any mice in there this year. See if there's any mice in there this year. Alright, you got this this garden hose work here? The I mean it's not working. It is working, right? Yeah. I wanna take it apart and give it a quick a quick one. Yeah, that's uh that's not hose is working. The hose is hooked up. Uh, uh, yeah, I got a hose if I need it. I'm gonna take this, take this cover off. Well, you got it off here too, anyway. So. The uh, uh, you can't hold it hooked up to this. That's a little small piece. It's hooked up to this. Yeah. And then I just turn it on there. Right. All right. Got a dead mouse there on a capacitor. He's fried chicken. He's fried chicken. I don't know how the hell they get in here. They get in here somehow. It's fried chicken, mama. Get this thing apart. Give it a good hosing. Put it off right there. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. Looks like from my so got the vacuum here. I'll give it the old Gundy mama. <laughs> Here he goes. This stuff's really crusty in there. Wow. Looks like that yellow wire broke off. So I'll have to get another connector on that. Check that capacitor, see what the see what the reading is on it, make sure it's still okay. We'll hit this with the hose quick. It's a 355. Well in your case you you came up with the wireless uh, wireless call for me. And uh, well, I'll tell you what wireless calls. I don't answer the phone. 35. For some reason, I, uh, I'll, I'll answer it this time. Good thing, because I wouldn't have came. I know that. I know that. You probably called before. Five. That's good. I'm just going to put but a I connector on there. And... I the did. Phone. I call you and I'll answer. I don't come. Yeah, I don't blame you. Guys, I hosed it all off good. Got all in there and got it all blown out. Put a new connector on that. That capacitor's still good. I'll get this fan back in. Alright, so put the brown, the purple, and the black back. Come uh, back on. The filter's clean as a whistle. You've been running this thing or your wife must really clean the house good? 
Well, I think I want to keep the house nice and clean. Try to heat the sweep, sweep the floor out here a little bit. The, uh, we really haven't been running it yet this year. No, we didn't change the filter. I mean, uh, that's, I haven't changed the filter in, in three years on this thing. Oh. You think it's that long? It's been that long. Oh. Alright, so the return's right here. It's pulling in from the down solar. That's the way this was set up. So we're 57 on a wet bulb. Return pulls in right down here. That's how it's set up. He's an engineer. He engineered the house. Goes right outside here. We'll check this one. Let me see, 50, 57 what bulb? And it disconnects off outside. You want to turn it, turn it on, turn it down so I can check it outside the charge. Okay. Turn the air conditioner on cooling and turn it down so you know it's gonna run. I gotta make sure I can. Just turn it down, then we'll shut it off after we check it. Okay. You want me to do it? Uh, I should be able to do it. Yeah, put on cooling, automatic, and turn it down. Uh, yeah, cooling, and then turn the thermostat down. It's a piston, so. 57 wet bulb. So 58 wet bulb was 57, 58's close, and it's 65 out. Alright guys, so 56 and 65 outside, about 13 on the super heat is what we want. I'm right, right there. As long as you're within five, suction pressure's okay. Subcooling's low, but it's a piston. So that's it. This one's this one's set. This one's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll go check the other one out. When I came in, he had it off. He had it all covered. Good as all. These old pine trees and stuff. Goodman. This one's this one's running fine. It's a Goodman. Look at that stuff. Holy mackerel, Andy. Yeehaw. I got, over there? Yeah, well, I don't see no dead ones, but there's definitely... They've been making the bedding in there. For sure. Let me take this one apart. Does this hose work here? No, that does not work. Oh. For four years. Wow, look at it all. Problem. Look at all that stuff in there. You gotta come check this out, man. It's yeah, loaded. It right here. Loaded. Look at it all in there. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of chooch. That's all from them, uh, must be mice. Well, they're not falling in from the overhead because... They gotta be coming in from the bottom there. See where the, where the slots are? Yeah. Where the pipe's coming to, they gotta be coming in from there. You gotta put some mice traps out here and catch them. Well, I usually, uh, put that little, uh, poison stuff, you know? Yeah, like, obviously it's not working, because, uh... I don't have them out here. This, they're probably hanging out here all winter. You know, a nice little home here. Nice and toasty. I'll scrape, pull all that out with my gloves, I guess. Then I'll hit it with the hose. It's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we can let that go over here too if you want to put your vacuum in there. All right, got it all, got it all hosed down. They're probably coming in from them, them holes there. 
But then if I go put sheet metal around and it gets too close and it rots that copper. You know? I don't I wouldn't want to put nothing too close to that and then it ruins the copper. I mean you're gonna need to might be wood who do you think it is? I don't think it's mice. Whatever it is, it had it loaded with that them acorns. Them are acorns, aren't they? Well they look like a pot of acorns. Flip and loaded with it. Could be the chipmunks. Gotta check this capacitor too. No. See you uh, you've got these screws here. Yeah, no, I gotta put them back in. I know that. I put them on the electric box if you don't mind. All right. No, it's a magnet. They ain't, they ain't gonna fall off of there. Oh, they're not. It's a magnet. It's a ma All right. See it? I'll, I'll go with that. I didn't. I didn't realize they were magnet. That's good for thirty-five right there. That capacitor is good. Superheat should be between 13 and 15, so I'm within five there on it. It's a cold day, I and mean, there's no load. I'll leave it right there, it's fine, I don't need to add nothing to it. You don't know if it's chipmunks getting in there. It's a good sized hole there. I don't really want to put nothing around that copper and it rots the copper out. Right. Gotta try to put some traps out. Yeah, I, I got them up on snow legs, so it's easy to clean. So I can uh, I can put some of these uh, mice things underneath them. That's what I would do. Yeah. You know what you might want to put under there too is some of that um, mothballs. Mothballs. Yeah. They, they don't like mothballs. Put some mothballs underneath. You know? You can do both. Yeah, I wouldn't want to put them inside, put them inside the unit. Maybe put them underneath, especially if you cover this thing up. Yeah. Put some mothballs on a plastic mat underneath. They don't like the smell. Try that out. You gotta let it run for like 15, at least 15 minutes for it to stabilize. That's right where we need to be. 